When was the last time you cleaned your hood wrench filter? Recently? A year ago? Never? If your answer is never, don't worry, you're not alone. Today I want to show you how to clean your hood wrench filter for once and for good. So I'm going to show you how to clean the filter of this uh, stove range. This filter, what it does is to trap all the grease from cooking, uh, from frying, etc. This is pretty dirty and it's pretty embarrassing actually, I have to say. I haven't cleaned it, so what this filter that does is that it actually traps all the grease here so the actual vent doesn't get dirty. We are supposed to do this more often, but I haven't done it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean these, also the accessories around, like the uh, light cover. And the inside, I'm going to show you how to clean it with th three different methods. One here, one here, and one here. So I can tell you which one works best, faster, so you don't have to waste time. So I'm going to uh, make a mix of dishwasher detergent and hot boiling water and then I'm going to uh, put the um, filter right inside. I use this little capsule, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cut it and, and open it. So I can put it inside. Then the hot boiling water. And just enough to cover the filter. So as you can see, the grease and the dirt started to loosen up already, which is great. I thought it was going to take longer actually, but you can see it's pretty clean. It's almost completely clean. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it soaking for a few more minutes while I'll do the rest of the range. For the inside of the stove range, we're gonna do three methods. As I told you, we're gonna use Burst Keeper's Friend on one part. We're gonna use Scar Off from Shackley, which is a paste that works amazing on grease. I really love it and it smells fantastic. We're gonna do this on another area. And on the other area, we're gonna use the traditional baking soda with a little bit of dish soap. We're gonna make a paste of baking soda and a little bit of dish soap. I already put the dish soap. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the baking soda so we can create a nice thick paste. You can clear it up a little bit with hot boiling water and I would say that this is pretty good. This is the texture that it has to be. First we're going to do this area with the scour off paste from Shackley. This paste works amazing so I'm hoping it's going to do a great job on this side. So I'm going to put it all over and leave it soaking for a few minutes. that we created with baking soda and a little bit of dish soap so we're gonna put it and leave it soaking as well and the third method is the bar keeper's friend we're gonna leave it soaking as well and see how that works as you can see all the grease came off and it looks pretty clean. It came all off. Now all we have to do is do just a little details on the corners and it's ready to put back. Now we're going to clean the inside of the range. 
first we're gonna do this one. Uh, here is the Shackley scar of paste. So we're gonna see how that works. As you can see, the paste from Shackley works amazing, just as I expected. It was super easy, super fast, and very little elbow grease. We're gonna clean now the second area that we did with uh, baking soda and dish soap, and let's see how that one works. I thought the baking soda was going to need a lot of more elbow grease. However, it actually worked pretty fast. And the third area is the one that we did with Barkeeper's Friend. Let's see how this works out. And the Barkeeper's Friend did a great job as well. As you can see, the filter came out super clean. The dishwasher detergent did a great job here. I think the key is to work with hot boiling water. So that's gonna loosen up the grease much faster. Now, to clean the inside of the range, I use three different methods. The winner is Scar Off Paste from Shackley. It did a great job and most importantly, it took me so little time to do it. And on the second place, there's a tie between baking soda and Barkeeper's Friend. They both work really fast. I thought that baking soda was going to take much more elbow grease and surprisingly, it was super easy and super fast to do it. So my tip here is to not get intimidated by this. If you see the range filter that is super greasy and super dirty, don't worry. It was really fast. You saw that it was really fast and really easy to do it actually. And my question for you today is when was the last time you cleaned your filter? If you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. And I would so much appreciate if you leave your comments and suggestions down below letting me know what would you like me to clean next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.